Hi, I'm Ryder. This I'm is John. John Bates. Um, we are both uh, members of the Delmarva chapter of the Railroad Historical Society, and this is our pride and joy. Um, a few years ago, the Colbrook Dale and we got together, and they had offered to actually buy the car from us, and we decided to donate the car to them because we know that they could take it and take care of it and keep it in good standing for many years to come. And Johnny can tell you the history on the car. Well, the history is that it was donated to the town uh, by North, it was Norfolk Southern back then. Uh, and we got it. Uh, it was a maintenance away car. Uh, that's what saved it. Uh, originally, the car was a uh, parlor car inside, observation parlor car, and we were going to try to get it back into that shape. Uh, we have stripped the inside out. Uh, we've kept the outside ready to go, uh, but we ran out of time and volunteers, and these people offered to save it. Save it because me, otherwise it probably would be scrapped. The, built, the car was built in 1927. Uh, it's an old heavyweight car, six-wheel six trucks. Uh, built, uh, it was the king of its day, when it, or the queen of its day when it was built. That wasn't it wasn't a part of the Wabash? It actually ran on the Wabash Cannonball. It was the so, observation car on the Wabash Cannonball for years. Uh, and later on, when air conditioning came along, they did uh, put air conditioning in it and called, renamed it. The Diplomat. The, no, it was named the Diplomat to start with. Then the city of Danville. The city of Danville. And it ran under the city of Danville for quite a while. Uh, now, it's very sad for me to have it out of here because I've worked on it close to 30 years off and on. And I hate to see it go, but at least I know it's going to, it's be, going to be a good place, a good home. My name is Ellen Johnson. I'm the president and also the docent of the Eastman Shore Railway Museum today, sort of bittersweet as um, the Delmarva Group has sold the uh, diplomat to um, the Colebrook Railroad. Um, they're in the process. They're going to take it back up to Pennsylvania and restore it. So we're going to miss it, but it's going to be brought back to glory. And um, hopefully the, you guys will send us pictures and see what it looks like in the end. So yeah, so Monday we went down, we prepped this light, <clears throat> we put stone down where the, the crane loading area was going to be, we moved the car into position. Um, so Tuesday was, was the big day. Um, we had a, a crane crew come in, a single crane, so we could do a, a lift from each end. And we also had uh, Daily Express, who are the, the top-notch expert train moving company. Um, Lenny, the driver, um, very meticulous how he loads this train. There's a, a part of the trailer in the front is, is the tail section out of the tractor trailer and the, and the back end's on a dolly system. And it's basically a lot of weight down on those two pieces and then chained from the bottom to those two pieces of trailer. And watching him maneuver this truck is amazing. Um, it, when it's on the truck, it's probably over 100 feet long. It's special permitting all the way up to uh, up to Pennsylvania and you know it took three days just to get it up here. A, a skill that is was very admirable. 